guys and welcome to my channel, I'm Amanda and today we are here with my December favourites and I'm actually standing up and I think I'm going to sit down because <laughs> what's the point in standing up? Okay, so um, I haven't done one of these in a while and I thought that I would just because um, I like to watch them, gives you ideas of what to try and all that stuff. So I am going to show you some of my faves. Um, let's get started then, shall we? So, we'll start with paper, because I have a lot of paper this this month, because I'm really into sketchbooks at the moment and um, stuff like that. So, I'll show you the sketchbooks first. These sketchbooks are absolutely amazing. I love them. They are like hobby craft packs. You can get three in a pack for a pound, and they are really good to draw on. Um, I really, really enjoy drawing in these. And I give my son these ones as well. You can get them all in different colours and stuff like that. This is my son's sketchbook. This is what he does. He likes to try and, well, he pretends to write. He can write much better than this, but he just squiggles all over it and um, paints on it and does things. So that's him. Um, his other sketchbook was much more impressive than that. But yeah, these are really good because the paper quality is actually decent. You could put washies on it, as you saw my son did that. Um, it takes pencil really well and they are pretty thick pages. I don't know what they are, like whatever, but um, they're really cheap and they're really good and you can go through them quite quickly so it's very satisfying to know that you've went through one of those and you can go on to the next one. Sorry about my gash background, by the way, it's disgusting. I need to figure out a better way to set this up. The next one is this Pink Pig um, watercolour sketchbook and it comes with um, 15 sheets. I think it's 300 GSM, it might tell you on the back. Yeah, 300 GSM A5 Posh Bockingford watercolour paper. 15 Leafs Black Eco Covers Portrait. So this is the Pink Pig sketchbooks and I really enjoy this sketchbook. I've been using it. I'm going to do a review of it but the colours come out so nice. I have flashing syndrome going on. I don't know why that is. It's probably because of the white paper. Um, but it takes the watercolour really well and it's really fun just to do that and then it doesn't, it doesn't kind of go through because it's obviously 300 GSM. And... Um, the paper is really nice and it's just really fun and like it's just a joy to watercolour on the, on these. Um, I haven't used, <laughs> this is horrible, I haven't used it that much uh, but I do want to do a review on this when I complete it so I'll do a sketchbook tour and a review in the new year at some point. Um, but yeah I'm really enjoying these and I think that I would, they're quite cheap. Um, they're the cheapest watercolour sketchbooks that I've found. The only thing that I don't like about it is the ring binding, but it has been my favourite thing to uh, watercolour in. This is the next sketchbook that I really enjoy this month. It is the Sea White of Brighton sketchbook and uh, it has 40 pages and it's 20 sheets. 140 GSM acid free pages. Um, the paper is slightly less like it's slightly less quality like thinner than the other one but this is just good for just sketching down ideas and um, it makes you not really care about putting watercolour in it or whatever and then my favourite type of sketchbook these days sorry about the glare is these ones these are um, A4 sketchbooks this one's an empty one I've already filled up a couple this year um, but they are really, really decent for um, sketching bigger ideas um, or smaller thumbnails on multiple, uh, like on the same page, multiple thumbnails. Um, but I think that these are really good. Usually they come with a matte finish. This was £1.50 in Asda, like you can't go wrong with £1.50 for this amount of paper and this good quality. Um, it is 140 GSM and it is also available for pencil, ink and it's acid free and it's got 20 pages so 40 sheets of pages which is really good so you can fill them up quickly as well. The next paper that I am enjoying and this is a block, it's the fluid watercolour paper hot press finish. A lot of people were um, going on about this saying how good it was so I decided to get a small one just to try it out and I was doing my A uh, Sims 4 paintings in real life in this. 
Um, I don't think you've seen this yet. Maybe not. Maybe. Anyway, um, yeah, this paper is really good. It does. It doesn't really take good amounts of washes. I think that this is more for just um, either gouache or acrylic. Like you could use gouache or acrylic, but it doesn't really like water that much, which is weird because it is a watercolor paper. Um, but I found that it tears up quite a lot if you use too much water in it, and. Um, it does not like mask and fluid whatsoever so it's good for like light washes I would say or even if you do colored pencil on top of the white the light washes it's a very good paper this paper is also pretty decent I did my um, collab with uh, tour on this paper. It's the hot press version so it's really really good. I like hot press um, I think that this takes water m like better than the other paper for some reason. I don't know why, but it does. Um, and it's got like, I think it's got like a different texture on either side. I'm not sure. No, this one doesn't. But um, this is the Langton De La Rooney and it's just the, basically it's just the easiest watercolour paper for me to get a hold of because it's really hard for me to go into a shop to, and just buy watercolour paper. Like I could get arches if I go to... Um, if I go to Edinburgh but I don't want to pay that amount of money for watercolour paper just yet because I'm not selling my artwork um, not that I don't want to I just can't um, and I'm not really making any money from my art at the moment so I don't want to spend too much money on artwork and art supplies um, but this Langton paper is actually really good um, the dealer Rooney stuff it's really good and it's really cheap as well well it's not really cheap but it's cheaper than most brands and it does the job so and I bought the 19 by uh, the, the 12 by 9 inches one um, just because I thought that if I ever wanted to do smaller works I could just cut it myself or um, I could just do bigger ones but uh, I need to get myself a guillotine or like a paper cutter or whatever and then last but not least on the paper thing, this is the Langton Prestige, 100% cotton. Um, this is not cold pressed, um, so it's like, it's not rough, it's it's textured, but it's, I don't know if you could be able to see that. Oh, it's flashy. Sorry guys, my camera sucks. Um, anyway, the paper is really good. I've only used this once, I think, um, but it takes water very well. Um, it's 300 GSM, just like normal, but because it's 100% cotton, it absorbs the water much better. Um, but this is definitely good. De La Rooney, the Langton Prestige watercolour paper, and it's cheaper than most brands. On to paints now. Exclusively in December, I have been using this palette. This is the Winsor Newton um, watercolour palette and you can find a review of this on my channel. Um, it will be there. I'll put it in the description below and on the cards and stuff. But it is very good and I like it. It's very cheap and it's also got loads of colours that you could use colour books and um, just my drawings that I'm not really selling at the moment. I am doing with these so I really like them um, it's actually my favorite just because I don't have to <laughs> I don't have to mix that much and the case is really good as well it's it's quite big but it works for your studio okay let's go on to pencils and pens now this is the pencil case that I take with me everywhere and it's just a mess right now honestly I haven't really been using it very well to be honest uh, but this is a couple of my favorite things from here we have the mangaka flexible i've been using this for a while now maybe about six months and it's starting to free a little bit but it's just really good for learning how to line your work um i also love the pocket brush pen but it's a little bit harder because it is bristles so it's a little bit harder to control um, this is easier and I like the point better on that. You can get different sizes. This is the fine size. Um, I really wish you could get super fine or like medium. I think you can get medium. Um, so that's a really good thing and I really like this one as well. And then I also like the Unipin Fine Line. Um, this is water and fade resistant so this is good and honestly I need to go through this and see what I use and what I don't because some of this stuff I don't even use um, <clears throat> then we've got the all-time favorite ballpoint pen which is the Bic 
brown stick medium and I have them in blue and black. They are really good for sketching if you don't want to sketch in pencil, you want to sketch in pen. They give good lines and they can make you fill up your uh, drawings a lot better. And this is empty as well. I have a bunch of these that I've been using for my planner instead of drawing, but I do like these for lining artwork. I got this one to start with. This is the um, Pentel Touch Sign Pen. And again, they're kind of like a different tip that you can use to line your work much easier than the Pentel Brush Pen. So those are good. I have them in like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven colours, I think, or six or seven colours. Um, this thing... I loved this when I first got it. I only drew with this. This was my baby. I loved it. But I honestly think that the point is too thin for me or the leads aren't that good. I can't get them to stop um, to stop breaking. And not only that, is that I go through the leads so fast that I just don't think that it's worth my money. Um, it's good that you don't have to sharpen it, that is, and you do get a precise line, but I'm constantly pressing this button to try and get more lead out, and then it takes forever to try and get the leads to come through if there's a, if there's a little stubby bit at the end. It's just really annoying. Plus, I also put blue and red leads in at the same time. Um, I don't have any blue left, I don't think. Uh, this is a grey, and then I've got the red and the grey left here. But I just don't know how to use it to my convenience. I thought I was going to love it because I do like mechanical pencils. Um, my favourite mechanical pencil so far is this one. And it's really cheap one. You can get like loads for just really cheap. So I think I'm going to put these back in my pencil case because they are really good to use. Um, and they're really cheap. They are disposable or you can just um, refill them because I have like 24 of them so um, I don't know. I think it may be the lead quality. This is Pentel 0.7 and I find that the lead just wears down far too quickly and I'm constantly doing this and I'm constantly scraping my paper with the the metal part. It is good that it's retractable though so it does protect your leads very well but that's all I've got to say about that. This is definitely my favourite gel pen of all time. I love this one. I don't even use the jelly roll ones anymore. I've got three of them and they just sit in there. Um, and then this one is the hybrid gel grip one. That one's okay but um, the other, the jelly roll ones aren't the best. But this is the Uniball Signal um, white gel pen and it's awesome. I would really love it. It's my fave. This is my favourite pencil for um, just sketching in light work that I'm going to either watercolour over or ink over. It's the Staedtler Mars Lumograph. I think if I ever do get a set of pencils it probably will be this brand. I've tried the Dermont before but um, I really prefer these ones and these are like a student grade brand so that's exciting. This one I don't use either. I try to but I just don't use it so there's no point in it being in there either. So yeah, those are my favourite art supplies um, in my pencil case just now. I'm going to have to rejig re everything around. I'll do that after the video though. Another thing that I actually don't have in this pencil case right now that I like to use are these uh, Prismacolor Colorace pencils. I'm sure lots of artists have heard of these already, but they are awesome. I have them in a variety of different colors. Um, I've got sellotape stuck to one of them. These are the colors that I don't use as much as you can see, and then all of the other colors that I use more often are scattered around my room. These ones I used to use quite a lot, but stopped using them, so yeah. Um, there's a lot in there that I can use and I really like them. Next time I get a pack though I'm probably just going to get a pack of um, one colour that I really like or a pack of 12 rather than 24. I've had these pack of 24 pencils for like two years or something so yeah. Anyway. As for brushes I um, <clears throat> I've kind of went off the um, these type of brushes just because I like to control the water a little bit better um, through the <laughs> through the normal brushes and the reason for that is because like 
I use far too much water with the water brushes. So my favourite all time favourite brand so far is these ones. I need to invest in better brushes but um, these will do for now. Uh, this is the 8 Filbert System 3 Daily Rooney brush. This is the 2. And then this one is a C white and it's an 8 and I really do enjoy the C white. I got it in a scroller box, I don't know if they're available yet but they are really good brushes. Um, they're cheap so they do fray a bit and they do, I don't know if they shed, I don't think they shed but they do fray out a bit. Um, and then this one was the cheapest brush set that I've ever had in my life. I have like 10 or 12 of them, I think there's 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, yeah there's 12. Um, <clears throat> and there's two types, there's the flat and then there's the round as well, I'll show you around. They are kind of wrecked though, this is the wrecked broken um but it's still quite soft i probably if i put that in water again it will go back to normal but these were a hobbycraft brand and i got them for a fiver for 12 brushes i really like this one because it's good for ha um for big washes and it's actually really soft as well now this one when i started painting um i used to watch this program called a uh, Oh, I can't remember what it's called but it was on the channel Propeller. This is the Terry Harrison's Gold Leaf Brush and I'm highly disappointed with this because Terry Harrison sells his brushes for so much money. So much money it's unbelievable. Um, and this is in really bad condition and it's not because I didn't look after it. I did, I didn't, I, I would say that I didn't look after it majorly well but um, I looked after it decently. Um, and all of this is like cracking off. I didn't leave it in water too much um, at all actually. This feels really greasy and disgusting and all the bristles are starting to like fray and stuff. I think it needs a good wash to be honest. I think at one point when I first got this I used it as an egg baster, like a turkey baster. <laughs> something to put egg wash over it and then I started using it as a paintbrush I don't know um, but it feels really greasy and disgusting but it is really good for washes um, and the bristles if they are proper bristles if they're really good they are really soft and delicate and um, it's good for effects in watercolour as well um, but I've had this since I was 14 I just recently found it and I was like holy crap I have a Terry Harrison watercolour brush um, so yeah, it is, it's, it's good. I think this is, yeah, this is the gold leaf, uh, golden leaf watercolour brush. And the last brush that I'm going to mention is this, and I got this from Hobbycraft as well. They were like a couple of quid, eight pounds I think for 12 brushes, and they are the angle brushes. Angle brushes are really good for getting into nooks and crannies and for to cover things. I use this mainly for acrylic, um, acrylic uh, stuff. I ruined two by not washing one afterwards so don't do that. Um, so yeah, that's the brushes that I have been enjoying. And then, just for funsies because you guys always know that I'm going to put these in, these are my Derwent Inktense work, uh, Derwent Inktense pencils and they are amazing. I absolutely love them. They're so vibrant. They're great. The only thing that I will say is that I wish that some of them weren't so intense so that you could get less intense colours, maybe muted colours. They should bring out like a pastel range or a muted range. That would be good. But these are awesome if you just want to take your pencils but still use watercolour and the best way to use these is with the water brushes because um, it's easier to control the pigment and the washes with that. Sorry I just hit the microphone, I don't know if you heard that or not. Um, but yeah, these are awesome, I love them and everybody should own a set. I don't have the full set, as you can see I've got like four missing or whatever but that's alright, that's alright, we don't need all these greys, probably do, but whatever. And then last, but certainly, Lynn, not certainly, actually I'm going to show you a couple of other things. Um, these are not the ones that I wanted. <laughs> they're my Prisma colours, which are okay, but they're not my favourites. Uh, hold on. Okay, let's show you this sketchbook as well. This sketchbook is awesome. I wouldn't say it's my favourite sketchbook. I haven't drawn in it for a very long time, a year almost. 
but it's the it's the Strathmore um, soft cover grey toned bullet journal and I've literally only drawn in it once um, in 2017 so this is one of the sketchbooks that I really want to fill up and I really want to make look amazing but I just don't want to draw in it because I'm scared of ruining it it was £23 it was a splurge and I it was a mistake basically but I'm going to try and work in it this year as in 2017 because uh, 18 sorry because I bought it and I want to use it and the last sketchbook that I want to quickly mention is the Dela Rooney uh, I don't know what this is it's the Dela Rooney one but I don't like this version because it's this it opens this way I like the one that opens the other way um, but this is just the graduate sketchbook and these are really good if you just want to sketch um, as well I was using watercolour in it which is okay but it just dulls the watercolour <laughs> doesn't really work very well um, but I do like working in this um, I just wasn't I was trying to fill this up but then I was like I don't really like it I don't like the way that it lies flat like this so I uh, will <clears throat> open I don't like the length of it um, and that's why I don't use the watercolor the moleskin watercolor sketchbook the pocket one because it's just too long and my voice is going so I better wrap this video up quick <laughs> my camera doesn't like the color of this uh, I'll quickly show you it it will start freaking out honestly it will um so this is my water uh no my colored pencils my favorite colored pencils um <clears throat> are the faber castell colored pencils you just can't get a pencil like this they're soft but yet they're still hard and can take a point you can get detail you can get big areas you can blend really well they're just you can't go wrong with these pencils in conjunction with the luminance pencils are quite good as well but honestly I don't think that the luminance are my favorite everybody bangs on about how awesome the luminance are but I just think that they're overpriced honestly they just aren't as good they are oily I think that they're, they're oil based they might be wax based I can't remember but they feel disgusting they feel so creamy and nice and some people like that like buttery but I prefer the um, kind of rough textury feel. So Faber-Castell Polychromos are my favourite. If I'm going to replace some because I am missing some I probably will buy the um, watercolour version and try that and see if that's any better. Um, but yeah that's what I'm going to do this year I think. I'm going to collect the Faber-Castell watercolour version of these and I think my luminance I'm just going to use them up if I can and um, never buy them again. I just I really like Karen Dash as a brand and I really do like and I did like I loved the luminance to start with but now I just don't think that they're worth it especially because I don't do that much portraits or whatever so maybe I should do these again. Uh, I don't know. Do I want to give away these? Does anybody want like half used luminance pencils? I don't know. You tell me in the comments below. Anyway, I am going to end this video. I think it's long enough. How long is it? 26 minutes. So I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any of your favourite uh, art supplies, then please tell me in the comments below what they are. I would really like to hear it. Um, and what you recommend me trying out or doing reviews of or whatever. And I will see you next time. Monday probably. No, Friday. I don't know. I can't remember when this is going up, guys. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to comment, like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you have, thank you so much for your support. I really do appreciate it and I will see you next time. Bye guys.